Hi guys and welcome back to this short series of videos on using iMovie on iPad. This time we're going to be using the green screen feature in iMovie which allows you to add objects over the top of backgrounds and to add different layers and depth to your videos. So I'm going to start here with a blank project and the most important thing to remember when you're using the green screen feature is to add what's going to be at the back first. So we're going to add the background first and then we're going to superimpose an object over the top of it by using the green screen effects. So for the first example this is going to be my background um, and it's just a still image, it's not a video but it does have that um, Ken Burns effect on that I need to turn off to stop that movement. And at the moment it's about six seconds, probably need it to be a bit longer, but we can change that later on. So it's just a still background and now we're going to add a helicopter video over the top of it. And the video that I've chosen, as you can see here, has a completely green background. And you can find videos like this from websites like Pixabay. Um, so let's try adding that. Now you're presented with an option here whether to add to movie or do more. Now if I just add it to the movie, it's just gonna go in the timeline alongside the background, which is not what we want. We want it to be above the background to layer on top of it. So I'm going to undo that and I'm going to add it again. This time go to more and you'll see that there's this setting for uh, the green blue screen effect here. So I'm gonna add that and you'll see that it's this time it's placed over the top of the background. Now it takes a few moments just to calibrate and adjust and then you will see that the green disappears. So now we've got this um, helicopter video without the green which is superimposed on top of the background. So next we're gonna try something a little bit different and I've downloaded uh, this time a video as a background and you'll see it's this kind of forest scene here. I'm just gonna add it directly to the movie so it plays alongside the other one. And you can see it's just a nice forest um, scene just steadily moving forward, which is important for what we're going to do in a moment. This time my green screen video is this one here. And you can see there isn't any green there in that thumbnail at the moment. But as we add it in, you'll see that the green is behind the door. And when that green is removed, then you can see the video behind it, which is a really cool effect. Let's see how that looks. There we go. Now this is what the video looked like before with the green background. You can see there's nothing there, it's just bright green. And that's what iMovie removes when you use this green screen effect. So instead of the green background, we've got whatever's behind it, which is the background we added first, which is this video. And the fact that that forest scene is slowly moving forwards gives that sense of realism as well, because we started by moving forwards as well. So that kind of motion continues through, which is great. Now the problem with using the green screen is if there's something green in the video, then that gets removed as well. So for example, I'm going to uh, use this Italian flag here. Now, if I had a green background in that video, then the green part of the flag would also disappear when I use it, which is not what we want. So what we can use instead is the blue background. And you saw when I added the video before, it said green slash blue screen. And it depends on the main colors in your video. If you've got green, that green will probably disappear. Um, if you've got blue, then that blue will probably disappear if you've got a blue background. So let's, um, we'll use this Italian flag as an example. I'm going to add a background first, which is just this video clip of uh, a sky, clouds floating past slowly. And I'm going to add the Italian flag, press more, green slash blue screen, and it will automatically detect the blue background which means that that blue background will disappear and the green stays. If it was a green background in that video, then that green uh, part of the flag would probably also disappear as well. So that's worth remembering too. So we've got three different types of videos here. We've got this one here where we superimposed an object over the top of a background by removing the green screen. We've got this video where we've got one layer in front of another with a green part that then reveals the background behind it. And for those videos that have green in them, then you need something with a blue background 
um, so that that green part of the video doesn't disappear. So there are three different ways of using the green screen feature in iMovie for iPads. Check out the other videos in this series for more tips on using iMovie for iPad, including basic editing techniques in iMovie, adding visual effects and working with audio too. See you next time.